Hello, we are the Seacrest family and we serve in Madrid, Spain. So one of the main things we do is we work in Youth with a Mission with the Discipleship Training School. And this is a five month program where young people come from all over the world to be trained, to be discipled, and then we unleash them to return to their home countries and to change, transform their communities. Something that God has put on our hearts recently is to work with the refugees, especially those pouring in from Syria and Afghanistan, Iraq. Um, the need is really great right now, and we've been traveling to different nations with our discipleship training school students, our young people, and training them in children's ministry. We've been working with those refugees, meeting their needs, working with their children in order to bring justice to this situation. Just this last year, we spent some time in Germany working with refugees, and both Micah and Melody were a big part of that. We are a family, we do ministry together. We teach the young people, the, these refugee children, about Jesus through games and activities. We had tons of games and activities and crafts. I had a little paper airplane stand, and I had a little paper airplane contest with all the other kids. We had musical chairs, tons of games, <laughs> arts and crafts. Yeah, so Melody, what was something you loved to do? Well, I liked was about just making friends and seeing the kids smile. And it's incredible that they come to this YM location in Germany and they are thrilled that we're teaching their children um, through games and songs, but teaching the children about Jesus. God put it on our hearts to get to know the refugees and the situation that they were coming from more and we wanted to have a connection back to their home. And so one of our students drew a, a big map of the world. And when the children came in one day, we traced their hands and we wrote their hands in it and we asked them to show us their nation and where their nation was. And we put their hands all over the map. And as their parents came to get them or their the adults who were taking care of them, I saw people, mainly it was the men that I saw that were really interested in this map, and they came and they put their hands on their nation, and it just really showed us a, a piece of, of their heart that um, they're missing their home, you know, and that's something that we can identify with, all of us, and God just showed that we can love and bless their nation in the midst of this trauma, and we can speak from that and share God's love through that understanding. Yeah, each of these refugees have experienced an incredible trauma we cannot imagine. All of them have lost a parent, a relative, mm -hmm. um, a close friend, they, and they've been relocated with nothing. They mm -hmm. are brought with a backpack of personal items, perhaps, mm -hmm. and, and a cell phone. And to get to know these people, to hear their stories, it just breaks our hearts. And we really believe that God has called us to be His hands, His feet, and to represent Jesus to these people that need hope, they need an answer. So we invite you to partner with us, to pray for us, um, to come visit, bring a team, come to our place in Madrid, you will love it. It's sunny there, 360 days a year, it's absolutely amazing. And God is doing great and amazing things in Spain as well. So we would just encourage you, come, um, send a young person to a school with us, but be part of what Jesus is doing um, in Madrid, Spain, and throughout the nations. Adios! Dios te bendiga!